Rajasthan is India's largest state, occupying 10.4% of India's total area. Located on the northwestern side of the country, it is the seventh largest state in terms of population and contributes to around 7.67 lakh crore of GDP to the Indian economy. The state has diversified economy with agriculture, mining and tourism as its main engines of growth. In the arena of healthcare too, Rajasthan has shown a tremendous progress with various initiatives by government for providing comprehensive healthcare services to the people of the state. Rajasthan was once battling hard against air pollution. I observed that large number of asthma patients and COPD patients were taking some kind of oral medication and they were leading a miserable type of life. At the time of exacerbation of attacks, we used to give them injections and tablets, but it was ineffective. And many times there were so many side effects that patient may had complications as well. With rise in air pollution, the chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases started increasing. Cases diagnosing asthma, chronic bronchitis, bronchiectasis were reported frequently in hospitals, clinics and local health centers. At that time it came in my mind that there must be something for that. Inhaler therapy was available at that time also, but awareness was very much missing. According to a report released by WHO in 2014, five prominent cities of Rajasthan, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Udaipur, Bikaner and Kota had high density of air pollutants leading to poor air quality. While excessive burning of crops, smoke emissions by industrial units and pollution from vehicles polluted outdoor air quality, indoor too was not left untouched with household smoke. Understanding gravity of the situation of not using inhalers, Rajasthan government along with experts from Rajasthan has decided to take the battle head on and fight against this threat of the respiratory problem. A network was formed in the state, there for advocacy of the inhalational therapy. So with the background of our staff, our PGs and CMEs, we could to some extent establish the inhalational therapy in medical colleges and the peripheral institutes. Just to make a bridge between patients and the th inhalation therapy, we started campaign. But this was not isolated for inhalation therapy. It was total lifestyle change and it was education. We organize big programs, small programs monthly, then big annual programs and patients of asthma and COPD participated in those programs. In one of the biggest program, almost 1500 patients were there. So they were educated in various aspects of asthma, lifestyle modification and at the same time what is the importance of inhaler therapy that was emphasized to them. Major cities of Rajasthan were chosen for intervention after detailed discussion with the doctors and government officials. The concept of inhalation therapy ka jo medical fraternity ke andar accept hua us acceptance ke basis ke upar uh, medical college hospitals district hospitals jo hamare jahan par medical doctors hain jo post graduate doctors hain jo ki uh, md medicine level ke doctors hain unki ek training process ke zariye is inhalation therapy ke concept ko district headquarter tak incorporate kiya gaya the start was not good as people were unaware about the use and benefits of an inhalation therapy, but gradually situation began to change. 
but the battle against asthma was not easy as social stigma and myths by local people blocked the ways. Energy therapy changed the life of the asthma patients and acceptance has dramatically improved since then. I remember uh, the sale of the asthma drugs in Bikaner from 1999 to this date has probably it has increased many many times. Respiratory disease को लेकर जो awareness है वो public में अब day by day print media, electronic media और जो medical agencies हैं चाहे वो NGO हो चाहे government hospitals हो इनके माध्यम से धीरे-धीरे public aware हो रही है। In a revolutionary move, inhalation therapy was introduced in these cities and medicines were distributed free of cost to the patients. To curb the menace of growing respiratory diseases, Rajasthan government took bold measures by floating various health-related schemes like Nishulk Dawa Yojana. The state of Rajasthan has taken many good steps to deal with respiratory diseases. First of all, uh, Chief Minister Free Drug Scheme, then Free Diagnostic Scheme, and now Bhamasha Health Insurance Scheme, which is known as Bhamasha Swasthya Bhima Yojana. All of them put together are taking care of uh, respiratory disease as well. हमारे यहाँ पे ना एमडीवाई के तहत यहाँ पे सांस के लिए जो बीमारियों के लिए जो भी इनर्वर वगैरह जो चाहिए निशुल्क दवा योजना के तहत वो कवर्ड है आम जन को ये हमारे पीएससी से लेके ऊपर सभी सीएससी डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल सब जगह पे निशुल्क उपलब्ध है और इससे आम जन को बहुत लाभ मिला है। People think that it is you know habit forming one number two they feel that it is the last resort. It should be given when the oral tablets are not working. Number three is the issue of cost. Inhalation therapy is a treatment that is used in respiratory diseases manifesting with airway obstruction. So proper training, proper evaluation, proper management and proper device and proper drugs, proper doses are mandatory and they are crux to the management of Inhalation therapy. Inhalers are small, handheld devices that deliver a puff of medicine into the airways. It has been seen that if people who are using inhalers regularly, this would reduce on the number of emergency visits to the hospital, would reduce the admissions to the hospital and also the physician visit. And the cost analysis was done from a very good study published in the Journal of Pediatrics in 2012, where they found that almost to the tune of 24% was the saving if inhaler devices were used regularly as per the advice and the recommendations of the doctor. Asthma Bhavan played a crucial role in designing and efficiently operating distribution strategy for inhalation therapy across Rajasthan. परेशानी बहुत थी फिर हम मेरे को तो यहाँ लोट लाए थे बिल्कुल मुर्दा समझ के अब यहाँ आकर के दूसरे दिन डॉक्टरों ने सब समार करके और मुझे बिल्कुल बैठने उठने लायक कर दिया अब मैं ऐसा हूँ कि घूमता हूँ फिरता हूँ खाना भी खा लेता हूँ इस डिजीज के जो पेशेंट्स हैं उनको अपन कैसे बेनिफिट दे सकते हैं इसके बारे में राजस्थान सरकार ने जो डिसीजन लिया है वो ही जो अन्य स्टेट्स हैं उनकी गवर्नमेंट के लिए भी एक एक मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एग्जांपल कह लें या एक इनिशिएशन कह लें कि वो भी अपने स्टेट के अंदर डिजीज का बर्डन अगर स्टडी कराते हैं तो डेफिनेटली एलर्जी है अस्थमा सी के उन स्टेट्स में भी काफ़ी पेशेंट्स देखने को मिलेंगे to replicate the exceptional positive change in Rajasthan, we would like to scale up this move and initiate this practice in other states. As a poor patient who is watching inhalation therapy, they are watching the availability of inhalation therapy from the government. I'll appeal to all the doctors and the state authorities that since this is the first line therapy, and very safe in cases of asthma and COPD where the patient has to take drugs for lifelong. These inhalational therapies should be made available to all the 
पेशेंट्स यह पहल बहुत सराहनीय है अगर यह पहल आगे बढ़ती है तो हम इस खतरनाक बीमारी को जड़ मूल से खत्म कर सकते हैं आप जो ये इनिशिएटिव आपने लिया है ये वाकई सराहनीय है और मैं चाहूंगा कि इस प्रोग्राम को आप अधिकाधिक आगे बढ़ाएं। काइंडली कंटिन्यू टू प्रोवाइड फ्री मेडिकेशन एटलीस्ट टू दूर पेशेंट एंड अदर स्टेट शुड एडोप्ट दिस पॉलिसी As per the Poseidon study, around 18% of all global deaths occur in India, and respiratory diseases are fast claiming a large chunk of this percentage. Rajasthan's case study highlights that efforts to increase accessibility and availability of inhalers through government hospitals and healthcare centers have made more patients come forward for treatment, especially women. who have left behind the stigma of illness with easy access and availability in Rajasthan a marked reduction is seen in hospital admissions and patients are leading normal lives this pioneering initiative of Rajasthan government has helped spread awareness dispel stigma and urge patients to seek right treatment with inhalers this module if replicated across india holds the potential of significantly reducing the morbidity of respiratory diseases in the country the journey towards a healthier nation has just started i'm quite uh, uh, sure that uh, combined with the uh, synergies from the private sector from the ngos uh, our state will be able to contain these respiratory diseases to a large extent rajasthan ki tarah other state bhi apni janta ko ek acha service health system mein provide kara sakte rajasthan chapter is just a milestone achieved let's take this to another level